Scott, another Eden's community manager, dropped some massive news about the latest saga that we've been waiting for for years. Present day mythos, Shadow of Sin and Steel. We're getting a brand new character, upgraded classic characters, free chronostones, much needed quality of life updates, and you guessed it, a star dream encounter. It's David Wowie. How you doing? For those who are new to the game, what is mythos? They're essentially epic sagas set in another Eden's different time layers. We first got the Western mythos called Song of Sword and Wings of Lost Paradise, which was set in antiquity. And then we got the Apex of Logic and Cardinal Scales, which was set in the future timeline. Now we've got a brand new tale set in the present time layer called Shadow of Sin and Steel. Set in present Garalea, it looks like it's going to feature samurai, shinobi, and a mysterious dark force behind this drama. Please don't be phantom again. The planning slash scenario writer Yuichiro Honda says, the hidden theme of this saga is growth. So it would be interesting to see how our characters grow and change in this mythos. There will be seven chapters. We'll be getting chapter one in a few days, chapter two next month, and more chapters released from then on until the seventh chapter in spring of 2025. What free character will we be getting in this mythos? In the antiquity mythos, we got Clate. In future mythos, we got Curio. This time around, we'll be getting Senya and his companion, Kuromaru. For some reason, most people think Kuromaru looks delicious. I think so too. I would totally eat a deep fried version of it, Korean barbecue style. Senya's art looks badass and it's great to see another Eden's art style improving. He has a bandaged left arm and is some kind of dark spirit arts. Apparently, Senya is in a really sad shape. His clothes and hat are in tatters, his wallet is mostly empty, and he's overall pathetic. Yet yeah, the team loves it! As of the time of making this video, we do not yet know Senya's skill set. It will be interesting to know if Kuromaru will be a playable sidekick. <laughs> And as they've been teasing, classic characters Shigure and Shion will be the main supporting characters of this update, as well as a featured new character named Reimei. Shion Alter, Akane Alter, Nekoko, and a mysterious other character will also be in the mix. As with every major update, we're getting all new locations and a stunning new soundtrack, including one with vocals called Dreams of Endless Shadow, sang by this accomplished chick named Shiena Nishizawa. What I'm most excited about is that they will now have in-game cutscenes. Check out the Shigure cutscene. Father, thank you for one last lesson. Now, prepare to face the full force of the Itorio! I love how even till today, the Another Eden team keeps improving the game. You can tell that there's a lot of passion behind it. We've seen some hints of this in the latest main story, so I hope the in-game cutscenes become a regular thing. Next up, we're getting Shigure Extra Style, who has a dead baby tiger on his shoulder. It looks like he'll be a wind slash unit who can switch between being a tank or a DPS. In terms of design, he'd been given a Kabuki-inspired outfit. I like it. Obviously, there's more to his skill set. Subscribe for more detailed updates about Shigura ES. Don't forget to join my Discord, it's free. Next up, the classic character Shion will be getting Stella Awakened. If you don't have him yet, you may want to use your free guiding adventure token encounter to get him. And if you don't have his true manifest yet, now could be the time. So what banners will we get? We're getting the free and paid Shigura ES banners, a paid Kagutsuchi Sachan banner where you get a guaranteed Shion and the chance to get Akane Alter, Shion Alter and Oboro. A paid Faithful encounter banner where you have a chance of getting Shigura ES, Akane Alter, Hozuki Alter and Nikoko AES. There will also be a paid Twin Destinies Encounter where we get a guaranteed another style, extra style or alter character on the 9th and 10th pull. We're also finally getting a Star Dream Encounter which is a paid banner which lets you choose any character you want up to version 3.8.1 which includes Minoka another style, Jilfani and Mazrika. Be aware that if you choose a character with Stellar Awakened abilities, they actually won't be Stellar Awakened when you pull them. You'll need to pull them two more times or get two more star charts 
to do it. Check my Stellar Awakening guide for more information. And starting from 19th of September, we get a Whispers of Time drop where we get 10 free daily pulls and a guaranteed 5-star character on the 10th pull. Don't forget to share your pull updates and see how me and other people in the community are doing with these in the Gacha Pulls channel of my Discord. How about Chronostones? Starting from 18th of September, we're getting 50 free Chronostones dropped to our inbox daily, totaling 600 Chronostones. I'm sure you'll get a bunch of Chronostones by playing through Mythos. But that's not all. We're getting some pretty good quality of life updates. Soon, we'll be able to register set equipment and call it back which is what I've been waiting for as I spent a lot of time swapping equipment between characters. There'll also be a remove all button in the equipment screen. On top of that, the time it takes to load new maps will be improved. So that slowish load time you've been experiencing may not have been your device's fault after all. This will definitely be a welcome update. There will be a keycard bulk buying feature as well as directly usable sliders in equipment and items screens, which I can't wait for as endgame players like me suffer from an endless List of items to search for. However, it won't be compatible with all devices. The new Mythos, Shadow of Sin and Steel releases in a few days on the 19th of September. Shout out to all the super members who are keeping this channel going. If you want extra perks, become a super member today.